To make an occupied bed, first assess any activity or mobility restrictions that might affect patient positioning. The patient's safety and comfort are of the utmost importance. Ensure patient privacy and introduce yourself to the patient. Good morning, Mr. Hayes. My name's Jillian. I'm going to be taking care of you today. May I see your armband? Identify the patient using two identifiers. And your full name and date of birth? Everett Hayes, July 21st, 1944. Explain to the patient what you'd like to do. We're going to be changing your bed linens today since you're not able to get out of bed yet. Okay. okay and I'm going to change the linens with you still in the bed. Then check the floor for spills and make sure the wheels are in locked position. Assemble the linen on a clean, dry bedside table. The linen should be stacked in order of use. Do you do okay lying flat? I like my head up a little bit. Okay. Raise the bed to a comfortable working height and lower the head of the bed as much as the patient can comfortably tolerate. Is that good right there? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. If he's on aspiration precautions, keep the head of the bed no lower than a 30 degree angle. Put on clean gloves. Loosen the top linens at the foot of the bed. Remove the bedspread and blanket separately. If they're soiled, place them in the linen bag. If either is to be reused, fold the item into a square and place it over the back of a chair. Cover the patient with a bath blanket, placing it over the top sheet. Ask him to hold the top edge of the blanket or tuck it under his shoulders. Okay, if you just want to hold this top sheet right here. Sure. Then reach beneath the blanket and remove the top sheet, discarding it in the linen bag. Lower the rail on your side of the bed. Help the patient into a side-lying position, facing away from you. Encourage him to use the side rail to turn. Then adjust the pillow beneath his head. Make sure no tension has been placed on any external medical devices, such as indwelling catheters, wound drains, and IV tubing. Standing on one side of the bed, loosen the bottom linen, moving from head to foot. Fan fold or roll the bottom sheet and any optional linen toward and under the patient. Tuck the edges of the soiled bottom linen alongside the patient's buttocks, back, and shoulders. Then clean, disinfect, and dry the mattress surface if necessary. Remove your gloves and perform hand hygiene. Next, apply clean linen to the exposed half of the bed in separate layers. First, place the fitted bottom sheet on the bed lengthwise. Secure the top and bottom corners on the near side and fan fold or roll the remaining fabric along the patient's torso. If you're using a flat sheet, allow it to hang about 25 centimeters or 10 inches over the edge of the mattress. Be sure that the lower hem of the bottom sheet lies seam down and even with the bottom edge of the mattress. To miter the top corner of the flat sheet at the head of the bed, lift the top corner of the mattress with one hand. With your other hand, tuck the top edge of the bottom sheet smoothly under the mattress. Pick up the top of the sheet about 45 centimeters or 18 inches from the top of the mattress. Lift the sheet and lay it on top to form a triangular fold. Tuck in the lower free hanging edge of the sheet. With your palm facing down, tuck the remaining portion of the sheet under the mattress, being careful not to pull out the triangular fold. Then tuck the remaining portion of the sheet under the mattress, moving toward the foot of the bed and keeping the linen smooth as you go. Place the draw sheet or waterproof pad lengthwise along the middle of the bed and tuck the remainder under the patient's torso and buttocks. The pad should be fan folded or rolled on top of the bottom sheet. Keep the linen beneath the patient as flat as possible because he'll have to roll over these layers when you're ready to make the other side of the bed. Now raise the side rails 
and ask the patient to turn toward you. Explain that he will be rolling over layers of linen. Okay, Mr. Hayes, I'm going to have you roll towards me. Okay, and you're going to feel a big hump. Help him roll toward you, making sure he turns slowly and keeps his body correctly aligned. So go ahead and roll towards me. Okay. Yeah. You doing okay? Uh -huh. Move to the opposite side of the bed and lower the side rail. Loosen the edges of the soiled linen from beneath the mattress and remove it by folding it into a bundle or square and holding it away from you as you place it in the linen bag. Then clean, disinfect, and dry the other half of the mattress if necessary. Remove and dispose of your gloves. Raise the side rails. And perform hand hygiene. Now, lower the side rails and pull the clean, rolled linen and draw sheet or waterproof pad over the edge of the mattress, from the head to the foot of the bed. Pull the corners of the fitted bottom sheet over the edges of the mattress. Then help the patient roll back into a supine position. Okay, Mr. Hayes, I'll have you roll back over to your back. No. Can you move the pillow over? There you go. Cover him with a top sheet, placing the vertical centerfold lengthwise down the middle of the bed. Open the sheet out from head to foot as you unfold it over the patient. Be sure the top edge of the sheet is even with the top edge of the mattress. Ask the patient to hold on to the sheet and blanket as you remove the bath blanket. Place a clean or reused bed blanket over the patient. Make sure the top edge of the blanket is parallel with the top edge of the sheet and about 15 or 20 centimeters, that's 6 to 8 inches, from the edge of the top sheet. On the other side of the bed, spread out the sheet and blanket evenly. Then make a cuff by turning the edge of the top sheet down over the top edge of the blanket. Standing at the side of the bed, tuck the remaining portion of the sheet and blanket under the foot of the mattress. Tuck the top sheet and blanket together, taking care not to pull out the toe pleat. Make a modified, mitered corner with the top sheet and blanket. To do so, simply leave the tip of the triangle hanging rather than tucking it in after making the triangular fold. Now, finish making the other side of the bed. Make a horizontal toe pleat by standing at the foot of the bed and fan folding the sheet and blanket 5 to 10 centimeters or 2 to 4 inches across the bed. Pull the sheet and blanket up from the bottom to make a fold 15 centimeters or about 6 inches from the bottom edge of the mattress. Apply a clean pillowcase. First, pick up the center of the closed end of the pillowcase. Hold the pillowcase with a firm grip in one hand. With the other hand, open the pillowcase from the open end and fold the back over the closed end inside out. Next, pick up the pillow with the hand holding the pillowcase. Invert the pillow for the pillowcase to drape over the pillow. Then, pull the pillowcase over the pillow with the other hand. Do not place the pillow or pillowcase under the chin or in the teeth. Adjust the corners of the pillowcase with your hands between the pillowcase and the pillow. 
Do not shake the pillow to position the pillowcase. Okay, Mr. Hayes. Assist the patient into a comfortable position. Is that comfortable? Yes, thank you. Okay. To ensure the patient's safety, lower the bed to the lowest position and raise the appropriate number of side rails. Remind the patient of the location of the call light. Okay. Here's the call light to call me, this red button right here, okay. if you need anything. Then arrange and organize the patient's room and perform hand hygiene. 